Um, obviously, again, a, a tremendous win. You know, we talked about yesterday being the big, uh, biggest game in the history of our program since we became Division I. Uh, took it a step further today, um, you know, advancing and, and winning in the second round. And, um, you know, just an unbelievably proud of our team. And, and um, you know, we talked in the locker room. It would have been very easy psychologically to be maybe have a little less confidence in this particular game in light of the fact that they had swept us in the regular season. Um, and neither one of them exactly went down to the wire, but uh, great response, you know, from our team all the way around. Obviously, Destiny Terrell was phenomenal, uh, 24 points, 19 rebounds. Uh, kind of gave her a hard time. Not sure why she couldn't get a 20th rebound in there, but uh, nine of 11 from the field. Very, uh, very efficient in, in helping us attack their press as well uh, when they were pressing us. Um, and then just lifts from so many people. We knew in a situation with a back-to-back -back game, having just played you know, a very tough game, that our bench was going to be important, and we got a huge lift. We outscored them 38-14 to 14, uh, off the bench. Chloe Storr, uh, big yesterday, even bigger today, uh, 12 points and, and four assists, four rebounds, three steals. So just a really solid all-around performance. You know, offensively, uh, we're not typically a team that scores 20 points in every single quarter. Uh, we just aren't. You know, today we did that. You know, and very balanced scoring, obviously. We weren't overly reliant uh, on Jocelyn Moore. I think that's another thing that's good for us, you know, for the future, you know, not just this week, but going forward to show that we can, we've done it on multiple occasions this year that uh, where we've been able to win games where maybe she didn't necessarily have a great game. So she was still very solid. But um, so again, a lot of very positive performances, again, especially with our bench as well. Uh, question for both ladies to begin with. Uh, just talk about the first quarter. You know, you jump out uh, to a 26-12 lead. Uh, just talk about what you guys were seeing offensively that allowed you guys to exploit McNeese. Okay. Um, I think from uh, my perspective, it looked like we were beating the press really well. Um, we're obviously quite an athletic team um, and we can run the floor really well. So I think um, pushing it up the floor um, in offensive transition really helped us and um we were going after every single like loose ball and uh rebounds as well that really helped us i thought yeah i oh, i'm sorry <laughs> yes i agree um our emphasis today was paint touches whether it was driving it or getting it to the high post and we did that and we exposed the zone a little bit so i think the paint touches helped a lot <laughs> <laughs> you're all right, coach. You're all right. You, you, you've earned that. You can be, yeah. I'm sorry. You're, you're fine. Jeff, I went to, I went back to Old Miss and watched him practice, and I know I was talking so loud that Kermit Davis stood up and he said, Father, that's the only man I'll let talk to. <laughs> uh, Destiny, you were a great offensive rebounder tonight. I mean, relentless. Probably as good as I've seen since I went against Pat Summit in Tennessee. What's the secret to that? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm not really sure. It's like sometimes I get boxed out, but a lot of times I don't. You just got to keep moving and find the ball. That's what you got to do. Okay, I'm going to ask all of you this question. I had y'all at HBU, and y'all played great tonight. I, I mean, great. What's the difference between that night and tonight? Did that. I, I would say confidence as much as anything, you know, and, and you don't get 90 points if you're not playing with confidence, you know, and, and, and people stepping into their shots. Um, you know, this young lady to my right, Chloe Storr, you know, we, we talked about this yesterday, you know, coach, I don't think, I, I think when the game that you covered at Houston Baptist a few weeks ago, I don't think she got in that game, if I'm not mistaken, mistaken. <laughs> but and, and, and bad coaching, so, <laughs> you're right. No, you no, you are right. And, and, and but it, it, it's a testament, uh, you know, Chloe and, and I'm sure Coach Chancellor, you have players like this, whether when you're at the, uh, the WNBA or at Ole Miss, that they always stay ready. You know, they're locked in every single day. They're focused. So when they're, and we've had some injuries, unfortunately, in the past week that, that have kind of compromised our depth a little bit. And, and on the fly, she's learned how to play the four literally in the last four or five days and, and obviously done a great job with it. But, um, you know, and, and I think 
to an extent, uh, you know, we're playing with house money at this point. You know, these uh, these guys probably don't gamble much, but I think you know what I'm talking about. I mean, oh, at this yeah. point, <laughs> oh, you know, we're we're we've got our money back, and now we're just you know playing free and easy. We're playing loose. We're playing confident, and, and I think that's a big part of it. There's really not any hesitation, but we're not being careless. You know, that's a big thing too. I think yesterday, if I recall, we had 12 turnovers the entire game. Today, 13 against a lot of full court pressure. So that obviously speaks volumes and. Uh, um, you know, we shot 39 free throws, but, you know, if we're not taking care of care of the ball, some of those 39 free throws could have very easily been turnovers. But we were taking care of it and drawing fouls in the process. But, um, you know, so it, it's a little maybe a little more balanced, you know, talking about the confidence piece of it. Like I said, not entirely relying on Jocelyn to have a great game. And, you know, Destiny Terrell goes out and goes and gets 24. Um, I mentioned Chloe with 12, Tiana with 10, and, and just a lot of, you know, people that were complimenting, you know, Jocelyn in, in the process. So I think that was big as well. So I'll let them, you know, I, I talked long enough. So go yeah, ahead. I agree today that it was confidence and it was a bench. And the biggest thing for me was we win or go home. And I'm, I'm not ready to go home yet. So that it's our last game if we lose. So that was just my mindset of it, we got we have to win or we're going home. And that's not something I want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, just think, you know, was, you know, Jocelyn didn't have her best game today, but you know, just talk about the ability of the team to pick up that slack when she's not at her best. Well, like we we've had games where Jocelyn is off, but every time Jocelyn is off, it's multiple people that step up. It's not just one person single handedly doing it. We have three to four people in double digits. And I think that's just what we have to do in order when she is off. Mm -hmm. But I think that Jocelyn's also really good at um, recognizing if she if yep. if it's not all going her way, she can compliment her teammates as well. So she'll get good assists and do the other things that don't normally happen, if that makes sense. OK, the television for tomorrow. What do uh, you out there got to do better or different than they did the first time against SBU? Well, you know, going back and looking at those two games, Coach, I I, uh, I vividly remember in the first game at our place, we were up 15 points in the first half. It was 22 to 7. Obviously, it got away from us. I mean, it still went down to the final minute and we lost. It kind of a bizarre game, the one that you were at a couple of weeks ago. I think we were down 16, I, I believe. And next thing you know, we're down one. Um, and obviously rallied back and then kind of, you know, I think they, you know, uh, got it down again to basically the final minute. You know, we didn't score it real well. Obviously, I think we ended up with all of 45 points at the game at their place. So, yeah. you know, we're going to have to make shots. I mean, it's, it's, you know, you and I have both been there. It's a simple game, you know, make shots, you know, and, and uh, but. And also, of course, you know, still have the defensive intensity that we need. And, um, you know, they're a tough matchup. They, they, you know, Tamiya Jefferson's obviously a great player, but it's not just Tamiya Jefferson. You know, they've got a solid group of, you know, seven or eight that they go to. And uh, I do think that, you know, I can't speak for Houston Baptist. I think it's going to help us a ton that we've got these two games under our belt and, and the confidence that we've got from it and, and, you know, the momentum as well. So I think that's only going to help us. Good job. Do you, do you ladies think there's an advantage or disadvantage that you've already played twice and they have not played it? Well, I'm going to hope that we use it to our advantage <laughs> because I'm going to hope that we use it to our advantage. Like, I'm, I'm not going to say it's a disadvantage because I'll be putting my team in a bad situation. But if we use it to our advantage, they've been sitting at home or they've been practicing. They haven't had these in-game situations that we have had. So I feel like it'll be to our advantage that we have been playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think also, especially with um, a couple of injuries for us happening recently, it's been good for us to be able to kind of reconstruct everything and get used to playing uh, a different type of game. And um, I think we're complementing each other really well at yeah. the moment. So, And we tried, you know, just looking at the stat sheet, you know, we had nine players in, in double figure minutes, um, you know, tried to. You know, you're doing what you got to do to win the game today, obviously. But, you know, trying to be aware of that as well for, you know, tomorrow and not extend anybody too much. Um, so and I, and I think for some of the bench players, you know, Chloe included, I think, you know, elevating their role a little bit, playing more minutes is, is certainly only not it only it keeps other people fresh like the Destiny Terrells and the Jocelyn Moores. But it also probably lifts their confidence, just game experience in this type of environment is only going to help them, you know, going into tomorrow as well. I'm going to stop you there so we can go on with the